Hello friends, today we are going to do quick revision of chapter number 4, quadratic equation. So what is a quadratic equation? Any equation is having the highest power to a degree 2. That type of equation is called a quadratic equation. Look here, this is the standard form of a quadratic equation where a cannot be equal to 0. Means if b is 0, then also it's okay. c is 0, then also it's okay. I am giving you example. Look here. 2x squared plus 3x plus 5 is equal to 0. This is a simple quadratic equation. Here b can be equal to 0. If they will give you 2x squared plus 5, then also this will remain a quadratic equation. If c is 0, means if it is given 2x squared plus 3x, then also this is a quadratic equation. But if they will give you only 3x plus 5 equal to 0, then this is not a quadratic equation. This is a linear equation. So that's why they had this written a cannot be equal to 0. Now here we know degree is 2. So we will get two roots. There are three methods for solving this quadratic equation. Look here one by one I am going to solve these three some this three quadratic equation with the help of first method second method and third method our first method is splitting the middle term second method is completing the square and third method is quadratic formula look here first method splitting the middle term i am going to solve this by splitting the middle term for that we have to just multiply the first number and the second number sorry first number and the last number 1 into minus 10 minus 10. So we have to find out the factors of minus 10 in such a way that multiplication is minus 10 and the addition will be the coefficient of the middle number. That, it, that should be minus 3. So what will happen? We know it's minus 5 into 2 will give you minus 10 and minus 5 plus 2 gives you minus 3. So we are going to split this with the help of these two factors this will become minus 5x plus 2x and the previous and the last number will remain the same. Now we have to find out the common in this two. x common x minus 5 plus 2 common x minus 5. So the factors are x plus 2 and x minus 5. But these are the factors. We want to find the zeros or the roots whatever you say. x is equal to minus 2 and x is equal to 5. So these are the zeros or the roots by splitting the middle term method. Our second method is completing the square method. There are two ways to solve this method. One by multiplying any number with this and one by dividing any number with this for making this number a perfect square. By multiplying also we can make this number a perfect square. By dividing also we can make a perfect square. I had done this method separate video. So please if you want I will give the link in the description you can watch by both this method. I am going to solve by multiplying method. First we are going to multiply this whole number with 2. So this will become 4x square plus 2x minus 12 equals to 0. So now this, is, this will be our quadratic equation. Now we have to solve this. So what we have to do. This method is called completing the square method. So for that we know you should know the identity that a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square or a minus b whole square gives you a square minus 2ab plus b square. So what we first we are, we are going to make this from out of this and then from this we are going to make this. So how we have to make this look here. First we have to do this 4x square so that will 2x whole square will become 4x square that is our a square then 2ab 2 then the first number and the second number we have to put this b by ourselves what we have to put we have to put a number such that it will remain 2x only look here 2 2 is a 4x so 4 i want 2 so what i have to i have to divide this by 2 so I will multiply this 1 by 2. Now 2, 2 will get, get cancelled and 2x will be your answer. So this b is 1 by 2. So what we have to do? When we are putting this number 1 time 
वन बाय टू होल स्क्वेर पॉजिटिव एंड देन वन बाय टू होल स्क्वेर नेगेटिव वाई वी आर पुटिंग दिस टू टू बैलेंस द इक्वेशन इफ वी आर एडिंग वी हैव टू सप्रेट सो दिस इक्वेशन विल रिमेन बैलेंस नाउ इक्वल माइनस ट्वेल्व एंड जीरो नाउ लुक यर this is our this format answer now we have to convert it into this a plus b whole square this will become 2x plus 1 by 2 whole square now minus 1 by 4 minus 12 so we have to find out the lcm here 4 into 4 so minus this will remain the same only i am not writing it minus 1 so Minus one minus twelve for the forty-eight by four equals to zero. Now minus forty-nine. This will remain the same. Minus forty-nine by four is equal to zero. Now we are taking this on the other side. Look here, two x plus one by two whole square. This minus forty-nine by four will become plus forty-nine by four on the other side. Now this is a square, so we are going to find out the root. So root of this will be plus or minus seven by two whole square. One time we have to put plus seven by two. One time we have to put minus seven by two. Two x plus one by two whole square. Now one time I will put two x plus one by two is equal to plus seven by two, or two x plus one by two is equal to Minus seven by two. Now we have to solve this and find out the two zeros. Two x is equal to seven by two minus one by two. So two x is equal to six by two will get cancelled and x will be three by two. This is our first zero. Here also we will get two x is equal to minus seven by two minus one by two. This will become minus eight by two. Two x is equal to. So this will be minus four again. This two will go in the denominator. Minus four by two. This will get cancelled and minus two. So you are you will get x is equal to minus two. So these are the two zeros. Now moving towards the third method that is quadratic formula. Look, we are going to solve this. This is the formula that you have to keep in mind. X is equal to minus b plus or minus under root. B square minus 4ac by 2a means one time you have to put plus, one time you have to put minus. Then you have to solve this. But before this is the most important method because without starting this sum previously we can find out that we will get two zeros or we will not get zeros here. That there are three conditions that I am going first. We have to find out the d. D is equal to b square minus 4ac. With the help of this d, we will come to know that we will get zeros or we will not get zeros. So first, before starting this, we have to find out this b square minus 4ac. Look here, I am putting the values. B that is 7 square minus 4 into root 2 into c is 5 root 2. 49 minus Root two into root two 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 eight the forty four sorry uh, root two into root two 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 four the eight eight five the forty so forty nine minus forty so here d is a positive number there are three condition if d is greater than zero we will get two roots if d is equal to zero again two Roots, but two equal roots. Both the roots will be equal. But if d is less than zero, zero is greater and d is less, then no real roots. In this condition, we will not get the roots. So first, we have to check if this number is negative, then we will not get the roots. So no need of finding here. We can first derive this, and then we have to start solving. Look here. Now minus seven. Then plus under root this nine by two into root two. So what will happen? Minus seven plus three by two root two. So four by minus four by two root two. We will cancel this and minus two by root two. 
so this is our first with the help of positive sign now we are going to find with the negatives minus 7 minus under root 9 by 2 root 2 because it's 2a so minus 7 minus 3 by 2 root 2 this will be minus 10 by 2 root 2 this will get cancelled so minus 5 by root you, if you want to cancel this also you can cancel if you want this answer it's okay no need of rationalize it it will be okay now sometimes in this chapter they will give you few sums where they will tell you that this equation has equal roots and find out the unknown value of k at that time we had find out here three three conditions means two equal roots when we are getting two equal roots when our discriminant is zero so here they told us equal roots. So discriminant will be equal to zero. So we have to take that, that here D is equal to zero. So D means B square minus 4AC is equal to zero. With the help of this, we can find out the unknown value K. Just we have to put the A, B, C of this in this. We know our B is minus five whole square. Then four, our A is K. And our C is also K, 0. This will be 25 minus 4K square equals to 0. So what we have to do? Take this 4 square, K square is equal to 25. I have taken this here. So this negative becomes positive. Now K square is equal to 25 by 4. Now it is in root square. So we have to find out the root. So root of 25 will be 5 and root of two, five, 4 will be 2 but it will come as plus or minus because we don't know it was positive or negative. I had tried to cover all the points of this chapter so if you like my video please subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends so they can also come to know. Thank you so much for watching my video.